Joining us on Panthers TV with the GMB is Panthers forward John Rowe. John, we haven't spoken to you in a while. Obviously, you've not been playing. There's been uh, an injury issue in the background that we've been working on. You've been working with Phil. You've been working with Pete. Let's have a quick chat about it. Obviously, it's a, a lower body issue, we'll call it. And it's been a long process for you, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Uh, you know, obviously being injured uh, in sports is, is a really hard thing. Um, but, you know, I'm supported by the right people here. Uh, you know, you got Pete here at uh, Edwards Performance that's been doing a great job with me, Phil at the rink. Um, you know, so while it's been frustrating, uh, you know, I'm definitely working hard to get back as soon as I can, uh, get back on the ice with the guys and, uh, you know, be a part of the team again. Now, we've been filming you for this workout. It's looked uh, fairly intense, but it's definitely the face of somebody who's, I mean, working their arse off for their rehab. Yeah, uh, it's definitely a lot of hard work, uh, especially when you've been out for a while uh, and resting, especially with the lower body injury. So now getting back, it is a lot of hard work, uh, a lot of grind, a lot of sweat, uh, but it'll definitely be worth it when I'm back out there in front of the fans uh, soon enough. Now, we, we spoke while you were working out about if you've ever faced a, a layoff like this before, and it's one time you've been, had an injury that's lasted. Well, it, it was slightly longer, but only once in your career. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think it's... Part of it, you know, you think you're pretty lucky to have only had two of these uh, longer injuries in your career, um, but it, it doesn't make it any easier when it happens. Um, you know, this is definitely something new for me, uh, but it's it's a learning experience. You know, you definitely uh, these type of challenges make you stronger mentally and physically. So, um, you know, I, I can only deal that the, the, or play the hand I was dealt, and that's what I have. So I'm uh, working my butt off to get back. Now you've not just been working your butt off in, in the gym, uh, you spoke mentally, <laughs> you, you came on, you joined the Panthers and came part of the Loughborough programme, how's that been going, school been at least keeping your mind occupied while you've not been able to play? Yeah absolutely, uh, you know it's kind of, things happen somewhat for a reason and um, you know while I've been injured the school started last week, um, so I was able to focus on that and uh, it's, it's been a, definitely going to be a challenge but it's a great programme they have at Loughborough. Um, and I'm very honoured uh, to be a part of it and I, I know what will be at the end of this challenge will be very rewarding for myself to have a degree from there. So um, yeah, it's been keeping me busy, will continue to keep me busy, uh, but it's definitely an exciting and cool challenge. Now probably the worst part of being uh, uh, unable to play and being sat on the sidelines is on game day, watching the guys, watching them play, watching them work. Uh, what have you seen of your new teammates that's impressed you most? Well, you know, you've definitely seen, uh, you know, a bit of a learning curve with everyone, um, which has been uh, cool to see from the outside. Obviously, you want to be a part of it and uh, go through the, the, the learning process with them. But, you know, every time they've been challenged, they've stepped up so far. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great team we have. It's exciting uh, for the season. And being on the outside stinks. But uh, when you can help guys as much as you, uh, when you can um, and support them and be in the locker room with them, um, you know, just trying to give anything you can when, even when you're not playing. Now, you've not been willingly kept on the outside. For instance, this weekend, if you had your way, you, you'd be in Scotland right now. Not, not necessarily playing just with the team, but it was decided for your rehab. Seven hours on a bus probably wasn't the best thing to do for, for, for your lower body. Yeah, uh, you know, I wanted to, you know, I feel like when you're on the outside and you're injured, it is a little hard because you feel like you're on the outside uh, and kind of looking in. Um, and I thought this weekend might be a good weekend to, to join the bus trip with the guys, be around everyone, uh, be a part of it uh, for the road. But it, it is the right decision probably to stay back and, and work the rehab. Um, but it is it is hard. I know I'll be following following the games from from afar. But um, you know it's tough when they go, when they go away for three days and you know I'm here, uh, you know just doing the work. But you know I uh, wish I could be with them. Now the the most important question everybody wants the answer to is is how much longer are we not going to see John Rowe and, and that's one that doesn't have an easy answer. It's just about rehabbing and seeing how your body reacts. Yeah, that's obviously the question I think that's brought up most uh, in recent weeks. Um, it, it is a hard question to answer because of the nature of the injury. Um, you know, I'd like to say it's soon, and it, in the grand scheme of things, it is. Uh, but I can't put a, a date on it. Um, you know, I can just keep trying to get better each day. And you know, those, by doing that, you know, I'll be on the ice soon enough, and it'll work out. I know that the, the longest period of the injury is over, and you know, now it's it's getting closer to, to when I can play. But it, yeah, I don't have a, an exact answer just yet. But it's definitely not something you should rush. No, unfortunately not, because you know we wouldn't want this to happen again. And uh, so it's, it's putting in the time now, doing all the work to make sure that when I do come back, you know, this won't happen again. All right, well, thanks for letting us watch you do some of that work, John, and uh, fingers crossed for the recovery. Thanks. I hope you guys enjoyed it more than I did. <laughs>